Hey there, this is Mariah with 50 Flowers, and today I'm going to show you how to make a wrist corsage. So first thing you're going to want to do is gather your supplies. I've gathered two big roses, a nice big filler that can kind of be spread throughout, some more filler for texture, I've got some greens, I've got this pearl wrist bracelet, it's elastic, and this is how I will attach it with these little ribbons to the elastic band. I've got a bow that's going to go in the middle. I've got my tape. You're gonna need ribbon to make the bow. Scissors and clippers. All right, so I've already got everything cut. You wanna do about inch and a half, two inches of a cut on the stem so that there's enough to attach it to this. I am just gonna look over my rows, make sure it looks perfect, just remove a couple things. I love to just blow into the middle of it because it gives that center just a great kind of look and that center is what we're going for. And let's take a look at the second one here. Awesome. Oh yeah, love it. Breaks out some of that color. So I will start by making my base and you're gonna think about how this lays on the wrist. So you're gonna want to kind of place it on yourself or maybe the person that's going on just for reference. All right, and then we're gonna place our first rose and start taping. Okay, taping is great because it locks everything into place as you design it. You only need to do about two or three spins with the tape, and then you can add your next element. And you layer these different than a boutonniere because it's, it's going to take over more of the wrist, so you want it to have more dimension. So we're going to do two little things of filler right on either side and give it a tape. Just a quick right and then I'm gonna go ahead and add my big filler here and this is great because I can maneuver this around if I wanted some of it to come in the back if I wanted some of it to come around there that is great it's super flexible which is what you want when you're designing I'm gonna go ahead and add my bow this just comes right in here and I'm gonna go ahead and just tie it on to this little stem gathering here. Awesome, there we go. Perfect. Bring that up and pinch it right there. Add your second rose. You might need to figure out where it wants to live based on how they're shaped. Play with your filler and your bow. Okay, great. Now I'm gonna tape this. Wish you could smell these roses there. Amazing. Okay, we're gonna add some more greens in here. Make this look like it just came off of a plant looking like this. Like you didn't make it by hand, it's just natural. Okay, tape those in there. I just tape and layer. It's gonna hold everything as, as I design it, how I like it, where I want it. And things are gonna move Feel free to, you know, move them, finagle them, tell them where you want them to go because you're the boss. I am going to bring some filler down to the bottom here because we want this line to look as seamless as possible. We don't want it to look like we made it. We want it to look like it just came off of that bush. Okay, and I'm kind of stacking my greens to save some tape and I just love the way they look bunched together. And that is the last thing I'm going to add. So I'm going to leave some stem exposed just because I like the way that that looks. And I'm just going to even up some of these stems here. Make it look good. Okay, great. Next, I'm going to take my ribbon here and I'm going to start at the bottom. I'm going to grip it really tight and get it in there. This is just to wrap your tape. It gives it a nice polished and finished look. Bring it up here, really similar to how you do a boutonniere. Once we get it there, I know that I'm going to want a tail about that long, maybe an inch. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to give it a cut at an angle. Awesome. And then we're going to do a loose loop and then tie it in the back. Tail come up 
All right. Now we've got this made. It looks a lot like a boutonniere. And this is how you could do a pin on corsage. But if you want to add it to the wrist, go ahead and grab your little bracelet here. Pull these apart. And I like to set it in the middle there. And you want to tie, these have ribbons. Some will be um, metal clamps or um, felt gluing, but these have little ribbons. So I take half of the ribbons and I bring them up here in the middle. That's gonna hold it secure. So if you're dancing or partying, that corsage is not gonna move. Once you get it closer down in here, you can really cinch it in tight. You're gonna wanna make sure it doesn't move at all like that. And then top it off with a little bunny ear bow. And there you go. That is how you make a wrist corsage. Show you. Awesome. And there we go. I'm Mariah with 50 Flowers showing you how to make a wrist corsage. If you like what you've seen, go ahead and like and subscribe and comment below what you want to see next. We'd love to show you anything you're wondering about with wedding flowers and be sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time we make another video. Thanks.